I can't speak for everyone, but I can only speak for myself. I don't know how some of the like, the people who create content, like nurse practitioner school content, how they be keeping everything up looking so good and put together because I'm down bad, <laughs> real bad. Anyway, I picked up my lab coat for pinning because we have a pinning ceremony to commemorate the end of nurse practitioner school as they do with nursing schools. I don't get to participate in graduation because I'm not graduating. I'm just getting a certificate. So. I don't know what in the world made me book a 9 a.m. Pilates class because the traffic in the morning is ridiculous. Usually it takes me about 15, 20 minutes to get to Pilates from where I live. This morning, because of the traffic, it's gonna take me maybe 45 minutes. And you all know we had that tragic, tragic disaster that happened when the bridge fell two weeks ago, the Francis Scott Key Bridge here in Baltimore. Well, since then, the traffic has been even worse because people are now having to find other routes um, to, to commute to work. So in the morning time, it's a disaster. Know what I got, know what I want. Boy, don't get me wrong, sure we're having fun. But it don't mean that I'm in love. I like you a lot. Oh my goodness, I forgot I was vlogging. I brought my groceries in. My car is parked out front, so I'm kind of rushing. But I came in, put some of the groceries away. And uh, I was so hungry, so I made breakfast. But I have to run back out because I have to get lab work done. For those of you who's been following me for some time, you know I had a parathyroid cancer and I had a left parathyroid, a left thyroidectomy last January and everything has been good post-surgery, but I am still following, I'm being followed by an endocrinologist who ordered labs for me when I saw him back in February, so I need to run to lab court to get those done, but I had to eat first. I don't need to be in a fasted state for this, for this lab work, so... I just made two fried eggs and two pieces of turkey bacon. I'm gonna finish this and head back out. You gotta step up. I'm through. Trying to tell you what to do. How to make me fall for you. You should learn that on your own. I play cool. Cause I hope you pick it. I'm finally back home from Pilates. The class today was fire. My body was sore from the class I took yesterday. And I know for sure I'm going to be sore from the class I took today. The one thing I love about Club Pilates is that there are so many different instructors and no two instructors are alike. And even if you encounter the same instructor at some point, they always have a different routine. Like nothing about that class is the same except like the basic warm ups and the cool downs. Yeah, that's what I'm going to call it, the cool downs. But everything is so different and the muscles and everything that's being worked out, it's amazing. What I will say is I've done at least 25 classes already. I thought I had more classes under my belt, but according to like my app, I've only done 25 classes and I kid you not, my lower back pain is gone. So definitely strengthening the core, which is what Pilates focuses on has definitely caused for that lower back pain yeah. to disappear. After I left Pilates, I stopped at Ulta to get hair products because between my daughter and I, we go through hair products like it's no tomorrow. So I'm gonna try a new deep conditioning mask and I purchased this right here, the Hydra Source from Biolage. This is supposed to be a pretty good brand. So you guys let me know in the comments if you've used this before and what your thoughts are on it. And then I also um, bought this blow dry lotion because obviously, you know, I'm going to blow dry this hair. The one thing you all are never going to feel bad about watching my vlogs is knowing that I don't have it together. Okay. Because why am I still working on this presentation? By the way, I'm doing a presentation today in class on nurse practitioners and reimbursement, like basically where the money reside and how we get to the bag as a nurse practitioner. So I'm doing a presentation on that, but I should have finished this last night. Instead, I was tired and went to bed. Look, I still ain't washed my hair. I was supposed to wash it yesterday, remember, with all the new products that I purchased. Still ain't washed my hair. Like, I be fighting for my life when it comes to time management. Time just be getting away from me. But I'm going to finish it up. I think I have two more slides to do. I'm going to finish, finish that up, wash my hair, clean up a little bit, and head to campus. Right now, I was getting ready to go up to class. It is approximately like 3 p.m. And we're on campus today. Class starts at 6 so I should be leaving here if it's 3 p.m. 
no i think it's probably four o'clock right now i need to hurry up and get out of here because y'all know the traffic is wild so i'm just going to do my makeup really quickly and what i'm going to do is i'll try my best to link the products that way if any of you have any questions about what i'm using on my face it'll be somewhere in the description box at some point if all for you you should learn that on your own i play cool because i hope you pick it up soon and you know just what to do don't you boy just be honest Be a quiet section. Oh. How you doing? Good. How are you? I'm good. You're gonna take the whole bowl with you, right? Yeah. You see it? The spaghetti? Hmm? You see the spaghetti? Yep. So we had to say yep so far. Uh -huh. Let me see what you have one day to go and then people walk when they make sure you're going in the walk. Possible. There's people that wear sweatpants. I think I'll be fine. Let me see you. Yeah, man, you look good. It, it nails and thing looking good. Come, let me see your nails. Excuse me. Really? Mm -hmm. Boy, you know that I'm hard to love. I'm hard to love. Boy, you know that I'm hard to love. I'm not being mean. I'm just being me. I don't make Just got to campus. It is 5.55. I'm going to head in and I think three of us are presenting tonight. So maybe I'll volunteer to go first. I don't know why I feel nervous. I'm usually not nervous presenting, but I don't know. The topic of reimbursement just encompasses a lot of details. And I'm going to tell my classmates, matter of fact, let me WhatsApp them right now because we have a WhatsApp group. And this is what I love about going to a nurse practitioner program that's actually in person the camaraderie that I've built with my classmates, like we're literally best friends. Well, not best friends, but we're close. We're like our own little family. We have a WhatsApp group. We keep each other updated. We're constantly in communication. We're reminding each other of things. Like online, these online programs, I don't know how y'all do it. Shout out to anybody who's watching that's on, that attends one of the online schools because y'all don't be knowing y'all classmates. I mean, sometimes I guess people form relationships like via the Facebook groups and things like that. But for me, no, I need to be in person. I need to see you. We need to have face-to-face -face contact. I'm about to WhatsApp them and tell them, listen, don't get technical with the questions. Don't ask me no whole bunch of questions, okay? Because re reimbursement, the topic of money and insurance companies, it's a lot and I'm not an expert. Make it easy, but I'm worth a while. Whenever we have presentations in class, the professor is always like, so who wants to go first? And I'm always the first one to volunteer someone. I'm like, oh, Tiffany, you want to go? Or I think Matthew said he's going to go first. Like I'm always, and they're like, girl, who said we was going to go first? Why don't you go? I don't know why I'm nervous. <laughs> Can one of y'all just like call her and tell her that we're stressed out? Well, she doesn't really answer like the email. <laughs> Listen, something is due. Why do we have so many assignments though? Like it's too many assignments. Like y'all waited till the last semester to bombard us. All right, y'all. Presentation is finished. I did good. My classmates, they did great. Lots of valuable information. Um, everyone was laughing because... I talked about reimbursement, like I mentioned earlier, but the title of my presentation was called Get Into the Bag. Head home now because I have to work tomorrow and I am scheduled for the early shift. That means I have to be there at 6.30 a.m. I'm finally home. It is 9.22 to be exact. But before I go to sleep, I think I'm going to do a sit down video. I've been wanting to talk about this topic for some time so you guys will get a sit down video very soon probably before this i don't know depends on how long this takes me to edit 
Usually my sit down videos are easy. One, two, three. I just sit and I run my mouth on the camera. Y'all know how I do. Um, I'm using my phone to vlog. So what I'm going to do is find my camera setup. And being that I look halfway decent, let me go ahead and get that done. I just got done filming the sit down video. So this was my little setup. I just purchased this light off of like Amazon the other day because I was seeing it all over social media. And I don't know, we'll see what the video quality looks like when I upload it. Like, I feel like as a YouTuber, my equipment is very lax. I need to step it up. I can't even say in 2024, maybe in 2025, I need to step it up. Like, I need to get a better camera. I need to learn how to do those attachments and detachments on the camera. But I am happy to show you all this because if you're interested in doing a YouTube channel or having your own YouTube channel, minimal equipment, okay? It's all about what you're bringing to your channel. Don't worry about all the fancy stuff. Let me go ahead, wipe, wash off my makeup, tie my hair, change into my night clothes, and go to bed because I have to be to work at 6.30 in the morning, meaning that I need to be up at by at least 5.15. It's, it's, it's put up to the... Yeah. You use LPN. Okay. Nothing. I'm usually never this tired getting off. I don't know what happened last night. I know what it is. My r schedule yesterday didn't pan out the way that it was supposed to. <sighs> like, I didn't drink a lot of water. I barely worked out. So, if I don't do those things before I go in on the night shift, my night shift is usually ruined because I was super tired. <laughs> me and one of my patients even kind of got into it. <laughs> he was so done with me because he was asking me a bunch of questions. And it was like 2.30 in the morning. And I'm like, oh, my goodness. And he was asking me questions about, well, why they got to keep putting that IV in me? And why they keep having to do this? And why the guy kept doing it that many times? And he stuck me six times. And I was just like, why you let him stick you six times? And he was like, well, how am I supposed to know? I said, okay, you can go ahead and get on out with your attitude. Because I see you got an attitude right now. I was like, it's 2.30 in the morning. <laughs> but then this morning, him and I made up. I When I went to draw his lobs, he was surprised that I got it on the first stick. And he's like, well, if you got it like that, why them other people kept sticking me so many times? And I was like, I don't know. But just know that as a patient, you always have the right to refuse. You always have the right to say no. And if anyone goes against your wish when you say no it's considered assault okay and he was like oh well that's good to know and he was like let me apologize to you for last night I'm really sorry and I was like no I'm gonna apologize to you as well I said I was tired and I think I was a little bit grumpy so <laughs> that's why we had our little spat <sighs> so I am gonna head home now it's 7 31 all I keep thinking about is oh god it takes me like 25 to 30 minutes to get home What's up, y'all? I just got to my accountant's house because I have to file my taxes. Today is the 14th, tomorrow's the deadline, the 15th. So I gotta get it in. And he's always like, you need to come on. And I've been delaying all this time because there's so many paperwork for me to gather. And I always have this big fear because just about every single year, I owe somebody something. If it's not the federal, it's the state. If it's not the state, it's the federal. And let me tell y'all something about the state of Maryland, trifling. If you owe them taxes and you're not on the payment plan or you don't make your payment, you can't renew your nursing license. <laughs> I remember one year I went to renew my nursing license and they were like, oh, um, something about I'm unable to because I have an outstanding balance. I was like, outstanding balance for what? I didn't even know that I, well, maybe I did. I don't know. But whatever. I didn't know it was going to affect me renewing my license. Honey, I had to cough up that 700 and something dollars real quick to pay the state of Maryland in order for me to renew my nursing license. I was like, y'all play too much and I'm not playing this game with y'all. So I'm sitting here waiting, my accountant, he has to run out. I keep calling him my accountant, like I'm some big time like businesswoman, but he's also my friend, but he's also an accountant. He had to run out to pick something up, so he should be back shortly.